It's 2002. All are singing Christmas carols. Unbeknownst to mankind, the world is in peril. Many gifts lay wrapped under the tree, supplied by the elves enslaved in Santa's factory. The children nestled in, dreaming of Metroid Prime, Vice City, and Warcraft 3, while Santa Claus deals with untold misery. So many great games, nary one I want to miss. Except this one here. The devs clearly took the piss. Now the fire is roaring with stockings hung with care. And I'm sitting in my living room pulling out my hair. There might be less pain associated with childbirth. Why am I playing Santa Claus Saves the Earth? Yep, that's right. Santa Claus Saves the Earth. This game is a 2002 Christmas-themed platformer developed by Evil Gamers and published by Telegames for the PlayStation and Nintendo Game Boy Advanced. But for the sake of my own sanity, we're gonna take a look at the PlayStation version, so let's dive into it. Yep, the title screen alone can sell this beautiful work of art. Everything about it screams Christmas! <laughs> Why, have they got, they've got the looping Christmas music, the Santa Claus, there's some snow falling, there's the Ice King, it's sort of kind of a thing, right? And that, it's not a moon. That's childhood expectations. Prepare to have them dashed. So as the plot would have it, and yes, this has a plot, it's December 24th and thousands of children are waiting for Santa Claus to pass his godlike judgment to determine whether they live or die. But wait, this drinking bird has other plans. It's drinking the water! You see this fairy who lives deep underground because that's how you know something's evil. I'm looking at you, mo people. It's using their evil copper. Copper? Copper? What? Who? What? The staff? What language are we speaking here? So Nilum the fairy looks into this pot, sees. What unholy genetic mess is this? It's got two heads. Guess I'm gonna vomit. The fairy sees Santa picking up gifts for the children, gets all huffy about it, and doesn't want Christmas to happen. Who hurt you as a child? So she transports Santa to some magical land, and he has to escape to make it back in time for- What? Uh, he has to make it in time for- Jesus Christ! Would you stop that? In time for Christmas! The point of the game is to adventure through each stage and search a keys to unlock doors to move on to the next stage. See these things right here? That right there? Yeah. That's a key. These spinning triangles are keys. Honestly, for the first 20 minutes, I was playing the game and had no fucking idea where the keys were. How difficult would it have been to just use keys? Just like that? Oh, that's not working. You use the triangle! So at this point, you're all thinking, Oh, well that seems easy enough. I don't see a problem. No! That's not it! That's not everything! Every single level looks nearly identical, and is laid out like a giant maze, so you're gonna have to use the good old memory noodle at max capacity to avoid rage. Now there's some differences, like some background textures, a tree, this guy right here, this is a fucking masterpiece. Mwah. The only level that feels any different is the Toy Factory levels, and I'm gonna give you a few seconds to prepare your eyes for this. Alright, are you ready? BAM! Pixel Vomit! That right there? That's how I feel right now. Honestly, the biggest difference between the levels is actually the title screen in each one. Like, level 1, Santa's clogged arteries. Level 3, Santa's hauling ass. Level 6, Santa couldn't handle the jets. Level 12, green. And level 14, R.I.P. Santa. Now the way Santa controls is horrendous. The jump feels very floaty and he moves really slow through the air. Once you hit that peak, he falls down like a fucking comet. You also can't jump off ladders, which is kind of a staple in platformers. So many times I tried to make a jump out of instinct and just ended up falling to my death. Cross ropes, or, or whatever that thing is. It looks simple, right? You might be thinking, oh, well you just hold up, and he'll hold on. No! You have to hold up, and the direction you want to move, and uh, while holding jump, now, if you let go any one of these buttons, you fall. Now, this fat jolly bastard might have some serious mobility issues that never stops him from parkour. 
navigating around the levels with Santa wouldn't be so bad if the camera just worked! The camera does not pan with you when you're going up or down. When you walk left or right, the camera doesn't even start moving until you're nearly at the edge of the screen, making it almost impossible to avoid enemies. On your way through each level, you collect these colored tokens to fill up Santa's science tubes! Which, after playing through the whole game, I can't quite figure out, A, why this has anything to do with the holidays, and B, if there's any significance to the collectibles at all. Much like the levels, the enemies never change either. Through the entire game, you're gonna be up against... Christmas Cavemen! What I'm guessing is a, a turtle dove? From the song? Because of it? Revenge of the Christmas Ham! And, and this thing. I have no idea what this thing's supposed to be. Maybe it's Super Sanic? I legitimately feel dread when I find one of these. Not because they're just hard to kill. I don't want to die and have to restart the entire level over again. And I'm sick of seeing this screen! To defeat enemies, you start with this. Yup. Santa uses his sack as a weapon. A very piss poor weapon at that. The hit detection barely works. You'll always take damage while trying to use it. And when you do use it, Santa slides back, making it even harder to hit enemies. Throughout each level, you'll get a chance to pick up two different weapons. A tomato is like a machine gun that fires off, uh, well, tomatoes. And then there's the snowball, which kills everything in one hit. After wading through a river of garbage for a few hours, you'll finally meet face to face with Neelum. Wage a battle for all ages. Clash of the Titans! Hope you saved up enough power-ups throughout the game, because this fight isn't hard. It's just brutal when you only have four hearts. Will you finally defeat Neelum? I have to go now. My planet needs me. And we've done it! The game is done. And now all the children get gifts. And... The fuck is Lapland? <laughs> <laughs> so is that it? Is that, is that the ending? Yep. God. Forget to subscribe and leave a like to support the channel. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a safe and awesome New Year. Looking forward to sharing a lot of new content with you in 2018, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching!